Hello from Gango Village here in Asembo, Sia County. In this short video, I want to show you uh, today how we apply uh, agricultural lime on our farm, on our uh, avocado orchard, and also on the avocado trees. Yeah, I will show you how we do it and also why uh, we apply agricultural lime on uh, the avocado trees. Uh, which is very important. Uh, in this short video, I'll also be doing some light uh, pruning on the avocado trees and I'll, show, I'll share the process. With me here, I have these two tools for pruning. The blue one is a hand pruner and the other one is a, a, saw, uh, a saw pruner. Uh, so I'll be using them for pruning. Yeah. Enjoy the video and thank you very much for the support. and. Uh, yeah, let's learn. Uh, so guys, uh, this is our farm. This is our avocado orchard here in Gango village. Uh, we have more than uh, 300 trees on this farm. Uh, most of them are uh, Haas avocado. And uh, then we have uh, Fuerte avocados and also the Jumbo avocados inside this orchard. Yeah, the Jumbo avocados are the local avocados. Uh, but from the best uh, fruits that we have eaten, uh, we tried and uh, planted the seeds here and uh, yeah, so we are waiting for seven years to see uh, if uh, they will be nice as uh, the fruits. Uh, yeah, but uh, for the house avocado and the fuete, uh, they start fruiting after one and a half years after uh, transplanting. Yeah, so uh, I get a lot of questions, where did you get your seedlings from? I get my seedlings uh, from Kakuzi uh, in Muranga and also from Isinya Avocado Nurseries in Kajiado. Yeah. Yeah, so those are my two plugs for seedlings. Yeah. Most of these uh, avocado trees here on this line are two years old and uh, you can see they are fruiting. You can see they are fruiting. Uh, we, plant, we paint our avocados with the white. Uh, water paint uh, for many reasons but mainly uh, to prevent uh, sunburn yeah uh, so let's dive into the video and show you how we are doing uh, the lime the agricultural lime application and why we do it yeah Pamela is on the upper side of the farm so let's go there and see uh, this farm is purely organic and it is a rain rain fed uh, meaning we don't do uh, irrigation uh, we only depend on uh, the two rainy seasons yeah we have the long uh, rain season and the short one here in Gango village assemble yeah uh, about spacing uh, down here the spacing was not that good uh, but uh, as we go up we have improved on spacing uh, which you will see uh, but uh, the best spacing uh, that you should adopt if you want to do avocado farming is uh, seven meters uh, by seven meters or seven meters by eight meters yeah This is how we apply lime. This is how lime is applied on the avocado trees. Yeah, this is how lime is applied. So agricultural lime is commonly called uh, ag lime. Yeah, ag lime. It plays a critical uh, role in successful avocado farming, especially in soils that are too acidic. Yeah. Uh, but before applying ag agricultural lime, uh, try and uh, test your soil so that you know what your soil is lacking and also the pH level of your soil. Yeah. So the first step is testing your soil. Yeah. It's very important. Uh, so we apply agricultural lime 
uh, for soil pH correction. Avocados thrive uh, slightly in acidic or to neutral soils. Uh, typically uh, pH 5.5 to 6.5. Soils that are too acidic, pH uh, lesser than uh, 5.5 can severely limit avocado growth. Yeah. Uh, Aglem uh, raises soil pH. Yeah, it raises the soil pH and uh, by neutralizing as excess acidity. Uh, this improves nutrient availability, especially calcium, magnesium, and phosphorus. Uh, it also reduces solubility of toxic elements like uh, aluminium and manganese uh, that harm avocado roots. Uh, so that is how Pamela is applying the ag lime, agricultural lime. Also, uh, it, uh, it helps in uh, improved root development. Acidic soils often lead to poor root growth, uh, which weakens trees and uh, reduces uh, fruit uh, yield. Uh, lime creates a more favorable environment for root elongation and uh, nutrient uptake. Yeah. Uh, healthy roots lead to better drought uh, tolerance and nutrient efficiency. Remember here we, we depend on rain. Uh, this is rain fed. Yeah. Also calcium supply. Yeah. The ag lime helps uh, adds uh, calcium supply. Agricultural lime is a source of calcium. Uh, which is an essential nutrient for avocados, strengthens cell, cell walls, improving uh, fruit firmness, and reducing uh, post-harvest diseases. It also enhances uh, resistance to root rot, a common disease in avocado farming. Uh, ag lime also uh, uh, helps in uh, soil structure, yeah, soil structure. It helps in soil structure uh, by improving pH and supplying calcium. A lime helps improve soil structure, as I've said. Enhances aeration, drainage, and uh, microbial activity all of which are crucial in avocado root health. Yeah, it's, it's all about the roots. Yeah, remember the avocado roots are very shallow. Yeah, they are very shallow. Applying uh, lime uh, also enhances fertilizer efficiency. In acidic soils, many fertilizers become less effective. Uh, lime allows fertilizers like phosphorus uh, and potassium to be more readily available to the plants. Uh, this uh, leads to more efficient nutrient use and lower input cost over time. So you might be asking yourself uh, uh, when to apply uh, lime. I've already explained that uh, you need first uh, to do some soil sampling. Uh, take your soil yearly. Uh, in this farm we take our soil yearly to the lab. Uh, so when and how to apply uh, lime, test your soil uh, pH before applying lime. Apply six, uh, three to six months uh, before planting for best results. And uh, I use a dolomitic lime if magnesium is also low. Lime should be evenly spread and incorporated in the topsoil uh, 10 uh, to 20 centimeter deep. Yeah. Uh, those are for people who are starting farming. 
uh, starting avocado orchard. Yeah. Uh, so you might be asking uh, how to get lime, agricultural lime or ag lime. Ag lime are sold in agrovets, in some agrovets. So check with your local agrovet if they stock ag lime. Uh, it is very hard to find uh, agrovets, especially in Nyanza that are uh, stocking ag lime, because our people don't use ag lime in their farms yeah so check out with them if they stock them yeah so i normally buy agline in uh, nairobi or uh, kiambu county uh, when i'm coming to the village uh, there is caution uh, when uh, applying uh, ag lime, watch out uh, so that you don't do over liming. Yeah, over liming is harmful and uh, can uh, raise uh, the pH too high. Yeah, you don't want a very high pH. Uh, it will cause uh, micronutrient deficiencies, e.g., iron, zinc. Yeah, always apply aglam uh, based on your soil test from the lab. Yeah, so you can do this after two years or yearly, depending with your lab test for your soil. So as I finish this uh, process, uh, let me give you some summary of uh, the whole uh, point of applying lime. Uh, so it has some benefits and uh, like uh, raises soil pH, which we have talked about. Uh, raising the soil pH improves nutrient availability, uh, supplies uh, calcium, uh, enhances fruit uh, quality and root health, uh, improves root growth, increases yield, and uh, disease resistance. Yeah, enhances fertilizer use, uh, boosts efficiency, and reduces cost of uh, farming. It also improves soil structure, uh, supports healthier trees and soil life. Uh, let me know what you think of this process. <coughs> uh, <coughs> if you have never done this, try and uh, first test your soil and uh, see the pH of your soil uh, before doing this process. Uh, but this uh, process is very vital for avocado farming.
also if you are if you have a avocado orchard or you want to start and you want help from Pamela she can uh, come reach out she can come and uh, manage your farm or give you tips or also you can visit Gango village and uh, learn uh, some very vital lessons uh, for doing this avocado farming yeah you can see they are fruiting yeah. these ones here are one year old So this tree here is less than one year. I think it is to be around eight months old. This one here is about eight months old, eight or seven from transplanting dead. Uh, these are the trees that uh, were replaced, the seedlings that were replaced after the one that was there was attacked by termites and it died. Yeah, we have very high termite infestation in this village. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we continue pushing. So this tree here is a fuerte avocado. This one here is fuerte, and then this one here is has. So has. Let me put them in a frame. So those two. Uh, the one that she is applying the lime is a fuerte avocado, while well, the other one is has. You can see the fruits there. You can see the fruits. Let's see, has the fuerte.